and Ruby. Ruby and Max. Max and Ruby. Ruby and Max. Max and Ruby. Ruby and her little brother Max. Ruby's Puppet Show. Ready, Louise? Ready, Ruby. Okay. One, two, three, push! How does it look on your side, Louise? I think it's straight. Let's step back and look. Hmm. Perfect. Our puppet stage is ready. Now all we need is the puppets. Careful, Max. Louise and I are about to put on a puppet show. It's going to be very dramatic. We have all kinds of puppets. See? We have hand puppets like this puppy dog. Roo, roo. I'd like to fetch a ball. <laughs> and we have finger puppets. See? They just go right on your fingers. And... Tweet! Chirp! And there are string puppets, like this clown. See? I can make him walk. But it's very hard to do. Yes, string puppets are the hardest. Puppet! That's right, Max. Louise and I will put on a puppet show for you, okay? <laughs> Let's see if the curtains work. One, two, three, pull! Puppet! <laughs> Max! You're not a finger puppet or a hand puppet. And you're definitely not a string puppet. We're going to put on a puppet show for you, Max. And you can help. Would you like that? <laughs> we need you to play a very important part. Do you think you can do it? You can be our audience. The audience is the most important part of the show. Next to the puppets. In fact, you can be in charge of our audience. Why don't you put out all the chairs in a nice, neat row and help the audience get seated? We'll go backstage and get ready for the puppet show. Thanks, Max! <laughs> Which puppet do you want to use, Louise? I don't know, Ruby. A little duck? Quack, quack! <laughs> A scary dragon? Roar! <gasps> oh, look! A cute little lamb puppet! <laughs> Look, Louise, here's a puppet of a little girl. You know what that means? We could do a puppet show of Mary Had a Little Lamb. Exactly. Take me to your leader. Take me to your leader. Puppet. Max, that is a robot. It's not a hand puppet or a finger puppet. And it's definitely not a string puppet. Right. Look. These are the puppets who will be performing in our puppet show. Mary. Hello. And her little lamb. <laughs> we are just about ready to put on our show, Max. Can you please make sure the audience is ready? If you're the little lamb and I'm Mary, I should walk this way. And I should follow you wherever you go. And then what happens in the story? I don't remember. Hmm. <gasps> Puppet! We really need you to be in the audience, Max. In fact, 
the most important part of your job is about to begin. Here's what we need you to do. Can you please make sure the rest of the audience gets seated? Mr. and Mrs. Quack wouldn't want to miss our puppet show. Neither would Sally swims a lot. She swam all the way here to see it. In a couple of minutes, the curtains on our stage are going to open. And you know what we need you to do then? <laughs> we need you to applaud. You know, clap your hands. Puppets love applause. Do you think you can do that, Max? <laughs> Let's have a practice run. So, the curtains open, and what do you do? <laughs> That's perfect! We knew you'd be a great audience! Okay, Max, we'll go backstage, and as soon as you see the curtains open, you know what to do. My puppet has to go on first, Louise. Okay, I'll open the curtains, and then my little lamb puppet will come out. What are we going to do about the ending of the story? Let's just make it up as we go along. All right. It's always more fun when you do it that way. <laughs> <laughs> Get ready to applaud, Max. The puppet show is about to begin. No applause? Where did he go? Puppet! Ah! How did that spider get here? Ah, ah. Get it out of here! We don't need any spiders here! Ah, ah. Who's that? I don't know. What a wonderful show! Grandma! I just love Mary and her little lamb. And how did you come up with that terrific new ending with the spider? It was Max and his string puppet. Sugar Plum Max. Alert! Alert! Unidentified intruders! It was a great idea to get into our tutus, Louise. I just know I'm a better ballerina when I'm wearing my tutu. Don't you think, Ruby? Yes, Louise. Now, what ballet dance should we do for Grandma when she comes over? Swan Lake? That's pretty hard for beginner ballerinas. Hmm. <gasps> what a beautiful box! There must be something very special inside. You're right! Grandma and I made a delicious treat for after ballet practice. They're sugar plums. That gives me a great idea, Ruby. I know what ballet dance we can do. The Dance, Dance of, of the Sugar, Sugar Plum, Plum Fairy. Fairy! Grandma would love that. Sugar plums. Huh? <gasps> Those are for after our ballerina practice, Max. Dancing like a sugar plum is easier than dancing like a swan, Ruby. But sugar plum fairies need to do a full pirouette. You mean where you turn all the way around on one toe? Mm-hmm. Neither one of us has ever done one. Then this is the day to try. Whoa! That's what practicing is for. Sugar plums. You can have a sugar plum after the performance, Max. Why 
don't you play with your other toys while we practice? Maybe it would help if we warm up with the five ballet positions. Good idea, Ruby. First position. Second position. Third position. Fourth position. And fifth. And hold. And repeat. First position. Second position. Third position. Fourth position. Fifth position. And relax. Wait till we've finished our dance. Why don't you play with one of your other toys to keep your mind off the sugar plums? Now that we're warmed up, let's try to do a pirouette. You go first, Louise. Okay. Yeah. Oh! <laughs> Wow! You almost went all the way around. Let me try. Oh! Ooh! Maybe a swan is easier than a sugar plum after all. Ballerinas need to be strong and they need to practice. Let's try again. Oops! Uh, oh! Uh, oh! <laughs> Sugar plums are for after the ballet performance. Ruby, maybe it would be easier to practice pirouettes if we did them to music. That's a great idea, Louise. Dancing is always easier to music. Here comes the part where we do the pirouette. Oh. Oops! We almost did it, Louise. Let's try again. <gasps> Max! <laughs> I told you, Max. Grandma's coming to see the dance of the Sugar Plum Fairy, and then we can all enjoy these treats. But now, we need to practice. <gasps> I think practice time is over, Ruby. Grandma! I hope I'm not too early for the big performance, but I couldn't wait any longer. I love the ballet. You're just in time for the dance of the Sugar Plum Fairy. Please walk this way. If I could walk that way, I'd be wearing a tutu, too. <laughs> Hello, Max. Are you here to watch the dancing Sugar Plums? Sugar Plums. Sugar plum pirouette since I saw Pavlova dance it. You mean 
I did a pirouette? Not just one, lots! I think the perfect reward for both you ballerinas, as well as the bunny who helped Ruby do her pirouettes, is to have one of those delicious sugar plums! Max's Ant Farm. Max! My first dress-up party is about to begin and you aren't even ready. <laughs> you want to look nice for my party, don't you, Max? You can play with your ants later. Dress-up parties and ants do not go together. Perfect. You look great, Max. <gasps> My guests are here. Thank you for inviting us to your dress-up party. Can you please hang up Valerie, Martha, and Louise's coats while I show our guests into the living room, Max? Thank you, Max. Thank you, Max. Thank you, Max. Aunt? Thank you for coming to my party. I've planned lots of games and activities and refreshments for later on. Yay! The secret to a successful party is to plan everything so there are no surprises. You're right, Ruby. Will you help me serve drinks, please? Hmm. You have to round up all your ants before anyone sees them, or my party will be ruined. Ants! <sighs> I'll keep our guests busy. Oh, who wants fruit punch? We love fruit punch! Mmm, <laughs> fruity. Me, <laughs> we were supposed to dance before refreshments. Follow me. Everybody, take your partner. May I have this dance, Martha? Sure, Valerie. Shall we? Oh, yes. Let's. <laughs> and. Ooh. Oops, excuse me. I was trying a new step. <gasps> excuse me again. I just haven't quite got it yet. It's pretty hard to follow. Maybe we should all try it, Ruby. <gasps> wow! I don't think I'm a good enough dancer to do that. I I'm sure you can do it, Valerie. <laughs> that tickles. <laughs> what does, Ruby? It, um, tickles me that we're all having so much fun. <laughs> Ants. Now it's time to make shadow animals. Ooh. Shadow animals! I've got my Starlight Star Bright flashlight. And if you'll dim the lights, please, Max. Good wow. one, Ruby! That's so real! Happy, happy, happy little puppy! Any requests? How about a duck? I like 
butterflies. Okay. Ants. <laughs> That's a funny request, Max. <gasps> I can't do ants. <laughs> Why don't we all go to the dining room for some lady fingers and more fruit punch? Lady fingers. Yum. Refreshments will be served in the dining room. Here, Max. Follow me. Ants. Every party needs a change of scenery. I decorated the dining room myself. <gasps> no! No what, Ruby? No! No party is complete without playing a game. Okay. What kind of game? Um, let's play Who Am I? Let's go back into the living room. Max, they're in the dining room. Ants. Martha, how about those refreshments? Good idea. All these games have made me hungry. Max, are those ants? <laughs> <laughs> oh no! We, we love, love ants. You do? Can we see? Marching all in a <laughs> ah, <laughs> you should feel one. They tickle. <laughs> You're a great hostess, Ruby. Just when we thought your party couldn't get any better, you top it off by showing us ants. <laughs> 